I V M. Storytel is an audiobook platform that lets you hear hundreds of thousands of stories on your mobile, PC, wherever you prefer. Now, generally, Storytel is a great deal at $2.99 a month for an unlimited number of books. But for our listeners, we've got something special. The first month for IBM listeners is now just $99. Bucks. That's an insane deal. It's $200 off the first month. To start you off, let me recommend one of my favorite books, Range, How Generalists Triumph in a Specialized World. This is a book by David Epstein and is one of the most thoughtful books I've read recently. He talks about early specialization and why that's not necessarily the best way to go in a modern world where problems are not always simple and viewing them from multiple lenses are helpful. In the Indian context where we're forced to choose science, commerce, or arts in the 10th standard, I think this is particularly applicable and it's a great read. So go to storytell.com slash IBM. Go get your first month at just 99 bucks and check out Range by David Epstein. Great read. Hey guys, welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast. Today's episode is one step forward towards finding your life purpose. Yes, that's what this particular series of A to Z has been all about. However, some of you may find today's particular episode a little hard hitting. It might also leave some of you confused. And maybe that is my objective. Maybe the aim not maybe actually, rather the aim is to get you thinking and not just thinking on a superficial level, but really questioning yourself. I've called today's episode, Kindly Be Honest. Now for some of you all, that might be slightly offensive or it might throw you off the guard because aren't you always honest? But I'm talking about the kind of dishonesty that we've all somewhere become used to, the kind of white lies that we say so easily that we've even started saying it to our own selves. Think about it. When someone asked you today, how are you? Wasn't your immediate response good or fine? And are you really good? Are you really fine? In a way, you just gave them a reflex reaction. Not because you wanted to lie or hide anything, but because you didn't want to share anything in particular with this person. Now, the problem is that this is the kind of conversation we are also having with our own selves in so many different ways on so many important topics. One of them being your life purpose. So here's my question to you today. Why do you want to figure out your life purpose? Why is it so important? What is it supposed to do for you? I mean, what? Are you expecting your life purpose to make you happy overnight? Is it supposed to make you feel less frustrated than you are right now because you hate your current job or you're not in the best relationship? Is it supposed to give you a sense of direction and suddenly the next 30 years of your life are going to be completely clear because right now you feel lost or right now you are not feeling satisfied? Why is it so important for you to figure out your life purpose? Now, here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Sit down with paper and pen. Don't just do this in your head. And every single day for the next 21 days, yes, for the next 21 days, without missing a single day, answer this question. Why do I want to figure out my life purpose? Why is it so important to me? Or then what is it supposed to do for me? Pick whichever question made the most sense to you, whichever question resonated with you. They will all lead you to the same answer. And I want you to write an answer to this question every single day for the next 21 days. Now, here's the thing. You're not going to write a paragraph. You're going to write one or two short sentences. That's it. You are also not going to question what you are writing. Sometimes what you write will make sense. Sometimes it will seem stupid. Sometimes you will write it and within a few hours not agree with it. That is all fine. Do not edit your words. Do not judge your words. Do not try to justify your words. Simply write the answer down and sit 
in acceptance. If you do this practice correctly, it shouldn't take you more than three minutes. <laughs> if you aren't doing it correctly, then yes, you'll be sitting there for hours, not able to write a single word, or then writing paragraphs. If you wish to discover your life purpose, you need to learn to be completely honest and accepting of your own honesty, your own truth. Acceptance is step two of awareness. And both of these are key steps in figuring out your life purpose. The reason why we struggle to accept our own truths is because we can't make it fit into the narrative that we have in our head or then the narrative that society is dictating for us. Your life purpose may not ease the frustration that you feel in your current job. Your life purpose may be so difficult that it won't give you any reprieve from the struggles of your current life. Yes, I may be sounding slightly scary right now. <laughs> and maybe in a way I am trying to scare you. Because you want to test yourself and check whether you have the courage. You want to test yourself because you want to put yourself to the test to see exactly how much courage you have to back that voice within yourself that's screaming to find your life purpose and telling you things like finding it will solve everything. Finding it will give your life meaning. Finding it will make everything suddenly make so much sense. We all want to find the meaning of life, the meaning of our life. It'll make us feel important. It'll make us feel worthy. It'll make all our actions feel worthwhile. That is the reason why we want to figure out our life purpose. But then are those the reasons that you are currently acting from? So yeah, do yourself a favor. Write that question down and every day for the next 21 days, answer it. Yes, you may steal the words that I just told you, the answers that I just gave you, that suddenly made so much sense and you will write it down. However, if your answers aren't changing every day or every other day, then you aren't being honest. On that note, I'm going to head out of here. Well, I hope that you can be completely honest with yourself all of this week and in the days to come. And I'll also tell you this, this is a good tool to use for anything else that you may be going through. If you are holding on to a relationship that you know is over, if you are single and sad that you are single and you feel like life is not good enough, this is the same question you want to answer. Any desire that you are struggling with, just put down this question and answer it. Why is it so important to you? What will happen when this desire is fulfilled? Write the answers for 21 days and see what you learn about yourself. For once, be honest with yourself. Because if you can accept your own truth, life will become oh so easy. If you wish to listen to the previous episodes, they are available on the IVM podcast website and app. You can also connect with us on Twitter and Instagram. Our handle is IVM Podcast. And yes, you can connect with me personally on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel. Also, I do love reading the DMs you'll send me about how this podcast is helping you in so many different ways and it's helping you make tiny changes that you need to make. Just today, I received a message from someone who listens to my podcast every morning they only discovered it a month ago, but it's helping them finally deal with the loss of their dad. It's, it's helping them finally grieve the way that they should and they want to. These are the messages that make me want to come back week after week to record and to put out more tips, more life hacks and more lessons. Have a good week, guys. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Storytel and TheWholeTruthFoods.com. 
So, great week on the network. Number of really, really interesting shows for you guys to check out. Here are a couple of the ones that I would like to highlight for you. Check out This Round is on Me. Gauri Devi Deal talks to her husband, Jay Yusuf, about mixing business and pleasure. They're the husband and wife part business partners at Food Matters Company. Give it a shot. Really fun show. On Nankari, they speak about Chaat, the queen of the street foods. A fun episode. They canvass the beauty and romance of street food, its cultural importance in the city. And they also discuss the unfortunate harassment that street vendors sometimes go through. On Pesa Vesa, we had Madhuchanda. They join Anupam talking about the budget and the different aspects of it. Storytellers and Storytellers features Shreyansh Pandey, creator of Kulak, a great conversation and some interesting insights into facilitating and nurturing writers. Do check that out. On Thalya Rathe, the Kannada podcast, Mansi Prasad spoke to Pavan Srinath about the history and appreciation of Indian music. It's a really interesting conversation. They discuss classical music and how it evolved in India, what are the various musical instruments and how they develop. Really, really fun, interesting stuff. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. From uncensored and unfiltered chats with the who's who of the entertainment industry, I, Siddharth Kanan, bring your very heart-key chat show called Candid Kanan. Tune in every Friday on the IVM Podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts.